Hello everybody and welcome. It's been a while since I've published a video on the YouTube channel. I'm back now and I wanted to show you one of the things I'm really excited about um, and I'm quite proud about as well. Being an artist foremost, I've actually done some coding in Blender to really start um, automating my work. So I'm not spending time doing onerous things over and over again. Let me show you what I'm on about here. Okay, so what we have in front of us here is actually part of a course that I've been creating, link in the description if you want to check that out, but these are a series of modular assets that I've created. You can put them together, build all sorts of little buildings. I'll just flick over to a different scene. You can see how you can use these assets that I've got in various ways, creating houses primarily and of course I started working on something a bit more exciting and then had to pull back a little. But what I ran into very quickly with these or this set of modular pieces was the fact that exporting it was going to take some time. I'd have to select each one individually and export it to a location with the right name, of course. So that would usually entail going up to file, export, picking your settings. Let's let's go for GLTF. That's the one I use mainly at the moment. And then you have to make sure you've got the right settings here. You need to make sure you type in the right name, otherwise you overwrite the last one you did, which is incredibly infuriating. However, um, I've realized very quickly that doing that for 43, I think, objects in this scene was going to be a very arduous process. And if I made a change, I would have to go through the process again. And in fact, I'm very proud of the script that I've written here. So let's go and enable it. It's a full add-on for Blender. It's still in its prototype stage. So just like every other add-on, you'd go ahead and add it. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, <laughs> which is great. There we go, export helper. In fact, I already have it enabled in my Blender. And what should happen is it appears over here on my sidebar. And if I go ahead and click on export OBJ GLB, which is the binary format of the GLTF export, and then we've got FBX as well. If I go ahead and click on that, you'll see here over on the side, which is why I've got that there, I create three folders and exports all of those objects in our scene with the correct name on them, ready for use elsewhere. So if I go ahead and find my medium detailed uh, roof gable dormer, go ahead and open it up. Of course, of course, Windows doesn't know how to open up that one. Let's pick the right one, this one here. And there we go, we've got our dormer. Now these don't have full materials applied to them yet. It's just in, as I say, the prototype stage. There are a few bugs that I've discovered. There's no checking at the moment. If you haven't saved your file, that won't work. So there's a few things that I want to improve before I release it, but this will be coming soon. And also there is no way of changing the default properties. They're set up for me at the moment. So perhaps exposing those if you wanted to use that and maybe break out this um, export OBJ, GLB, FBX to separate items if you didn't need to export the others. So I really wanted to share that with you because it's a very proud moment of mine. Finally, I've put together a proper add-on in Blender. Now, I was quite scared at first and I did have some reservations whether I'd be able to do it. And I'm sure anybody who's new to coding, especially in another program like Blender, you will get those feelings from time to time. And what I have learned from this, I really want to put together into a mini course for you to all learn from. So I can take you through the journey that I did when creating this add-on. And hopefully that will inspire many of you to go on and produce add-ons of your own, perhaps ones that do other things that you find repetitive that you could automate within Blender. And that'd be fantastic to see. So I plan on shipping those videos over the next coming weeks. If you'd like to know when they come out, remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon as well. That's a good one. And of course, if you found this video exciting and you want to see more, a like so more people get to see it would be great as well. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all soon.